the motor sets in motion what is known as the swash plate, designed to push forward the respective pistons and plungers, which in turn are pulled by a spring. This is a real view from inside a running high pressure cleaner. This opens and closes the valves. This is a real view of a valve from inside a running high pressure cleaner after starting up the machine. The three suction valves are at the bottom and the three pressure valves at the top. In the pump room, the plungers press the water through the high pressure hose and out of the nozzle. Here, the same process once more, from a different angle. What happens when you use additional detergents for material care? When the valve opens, a vacuum is created inside the so-called injector. The detergent is sucked in, mixed with water and sprayed out of the nozzle. Closing the gun causes the flow of water to be cut and the pressure to increase while the so-called check valve body is being actuated at the same time. A ball is now being pushed forward by the control plunger thus enabling a pressureless water circuit in the pump. The water now continues to flow through a kind of bypass in order to prevent any components from being damaged or destroyed by the prevailing high pressure. This principle is also used with pressure switch on equipment using total stop in order to switch off the motor. <laughs> 